Yo, AI Masters, did you witness the technological circus act that was CES 2024? Imagine a clown car spewing out self-driving tractors, robot butlers juggling electric cars, and AI toilets dispensing existential dread instead of porcelain thrones. Buckle up, because we're about to unpack this techie Pandora's box and see if the shiny gadgets outweigh the creeping sense that our robot overlords are picking out wallpaper for our future smart cities. We'll laugh, we'll cry, we'll maybe even invest in a good pair of running shoes to outrun the inevitable robot uprising. So, grab your robot cat, or your real one, for now, and get ready for a wild ride through the AI-infused funhouse that was CES 2024. But before we dive into the world of AI creativity, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this video. We've got plenty more exciting content coming your way, and we don't want you to miss out on any of it. Remember that Terminator nightmare where robots gleefully melted Sarah Connor's face off with lasers? Yeah, swap the lasers for bidet attachments and heated seats, and that's Kohler's smart toilet in a nutshell. It's basically how 9000's porcelain cousin, offering more features than your smartphone and a price tag that'll make your bank account whimper like a kicked puppy. Sure, it cleans more than just your conscience, but is it worth sacrificing your firstborn child's college fund for the dubious pleasure of a temperature-controlled throne? That's a question even AI can't answer, folks. CES declared open season on traditional coding languages, promising a future where we simply whisper sweet nothings to our computers and they magically churn out lines of code like a caffeinated Shakespeare. Sounds like every programmer's wet dream, right? Well, hold your horses, because reality has a nasty habit of crashing the party. Turns out, even at CES, the robots haven't quite cracked the coding conundrum. Python, C++, and JavaScript are still very much alive, kicking virtual butt and paying the bills. But hey, the dream of telling your computer to build me a self-driving pizza drone that folds my laundry and writes my novel is definitely one we can get behind. Just don't hold your breath waiting for it to happen anytime soon. Remember that childhood dream of becoming a professional birdwatcher, wandering through fields with binoculars, listening to the sweet chirps of robins and, wait, is that a government spy drone disguised as a sparrow? Thanks to AI-powered binoculars that can identify feathered government agents faster than you can say national security, your birdwatching career is about as stable as a Jenga tower in an earthquake. But fear not, because robots are coming for your tractor driving and police officer gigs too. John Deere's driverless tractors are ready to till the fields with laser precision, while Hyundai's X-Excavator promises to sculpt your dystopian future city like a Michelangelo with a bulldozer. And to keep law and order in this robot-run utopia, every cop will soon be sporting an exoskeleton that makes them faster, stronger, and basically Robocop 2.0. Crime won't stand a chance, but parking tickets? Well, that's still a human problem. For now. If you've been as entertained and informed as we have during this wild ride, don't forget to show some love by smashing that like button. And, of course, subscribe to AI Masters because, let's face it, our robot overlord demands it. Plus, you wouldn't want to miss out on the latest updates from the world of AI and robotics, delivered to you with a side of humor and a sprinkle of robot charm. Speaking of problems, did anyone mention the impending climate apocalypse that's looming like a particularly grumpy rain cloud over our heads? Apparently, the ice caps are melting faster than your ice cream cone on a July sidewalk. And it's all our fault. Thanks, carbon footprint. But hey, at least our leaders are busy saving the planet by flying around in private jets that guzzle fuel like a Hummer at a gas station sale. Seriously? Bill Gates? For private jets? Couldn't you have downloaded a Tesla app and called it a day? The irony is thicker than smog in Beijing, folks. But fear not, because CES has solutions. Electric vehicles are all the rage, with Mercedes dropping a new G-Wagon that runs on pure electricity and probably your hopes and dreams. And while demand for EVs might be slowing down like a snail on Valium, don't worry, the prices will plummet faster than a rogue Roomba on hardwood floors. Just remember, even electric cars aren't perfect. The real problem is all of us consuming too much stuff. And let's be honest, most of us aren't ready to live in a giant pod just yet. Plus, what about our furry companions? Samsung's robot cat, Bali, might be a cute little Wally wannabe that projects movies on your wall and acts as a security guard. But can it purr away your anxieties or knead your lap with the precision of a seasoned pastry chef? Can it offer the unconditional love and fuzzy warmth of a real feline friend? Probably not. And that's the real challenge of this AI revolution, folks. 
We can build robots that outperform us in almost every way, but can they replicate the messy, imperfect, yet deeply human connections that make life worth living? That's a question even the fanciest smart toilet can't answer. Ah, uh, the Rabbit R1, the handheld AI assistant that claims to make smartphones as obsolete as floppy disks and rotary phones. Imagine having Alexa and your phone merge into a mini megalodon of an assistant, controlling any app with just your voice. No more swiping, no more tapping, just the sweet symphony of your vocal commands bending technology to your will. Some call it the iPhone moment for AI, a revolutionary leap into a voice-activated future. But is it really? Or is it just a fancy voice-activated remote for your phone, disguised as a sleek tech accessory? Personally, I'm still on the fence. Why carry another gadget when you can just build an app that does the same thing? But hey, for those who hate touching their screens more than a germaphobe hates handshakes, the rabbit or one might be the ultimate techie pacifier. Just remember, with great voice power comes great responsibility. Don't accidentally ask it to order you 10,000 rubber duckies while sleep talking, folks. Trust me, the rubber ducky apocalypse is not a pretty sight. Drop us a comment below and let us know your insights, questions, or just share your excitement about the AI revolution. Your comments are like the fuel that keeps our robot friend running metaphorically, of course. CES was a sensory overload of futuristic fun, a techie amusement park where reality TV stars mingled with self-driving lawnmowers and robot bartenders dispensed existential cocktails. We saw AI lamps that watch your every move, they swear it's for your own good. VR experiences that feel more real than reality itself until you trip over the cord and face plan into your living room carpet. And even an analog keyboard for your smartphone. Because apparently, nostalgia sells like hotcakes. But beyond the shiny gadgets and the wow, that's cool moments, CES left us with a nagging question. Are we building a future that serves humanity, or one that replaces it? Are we becoming the engineers of our own obsolescence, creating robots that might one day inherit the earth and wonder why the furniture is so uncomfortable and the Wi-Fi keeps dropping? It's a question we need to ask ourselves before we get swept away by the hype and the glitter. Remember, the future isn't some predetermined script. We get to choose the actors, the plot twists, and the ending. So let's choose wisely, AI masters. Let's build a future where humans and robots coexist, where AI augments our lives instead of replacing them, and where even a self-driving tractor knows the importance of taking a scenic route every now and then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go hug my cat and promise it that. For as long as I can, its job as chief lap warmer and purring machine is completely safe. If you found this video informative and exciting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates on AI and technology. Until next time, AI masters, stay curious, stay human, and remember, even in the robot apocalypse, laughter is still the best medicine.